What's up guys, Chasing Labour here, welcome back to the channel, and uh, I thought I'd start this, uh, this video for a little update, and uh, apology, apology I think is what, what I need to do. So about a month ago I made this video talking about the FM25 delays, and how it was only going to be a couple of weeks, and then I made a passing reference to, well at least it won't be like CM4, and it will come out in March. And now it's coming out in March. <laughs> I think I changed it. I'm really sorry. Um, I did think they do it again. I genuinely don't think they do it yet. But here we are. Uh, and I could go on this sort of long while. Uh, if you look on YouTube, you'll see thousands of videos of other YouTubers making long rants about how it's delayed and it's unacceptable and why don't they just release a thing or update for 24 and blah, 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 blah. I don't want to do too much into that, to be honest, because... It's very complicated. It was sort of foreseeable that the delay was going to happen purely based on, uh, well, what happened with CF4, the change of engine, the fact they'd started stripping features out to, to get it out one time. It was all feeling a bit like something was about to go very wrong. And it did. And, you know, the guys will be happy. I know there are people, one of the things I think we should have addressed is, there are people unhappy that they open pre-orders for the game and then delayed the game so people have paid money and I can see why they've done that because they knew they knew it was going to be late when they said it's going to be a couple of weeks they knew it was going to be much later than that and if anyone at SIU says they didn't know honestly it is either a liar or incompetent I'm going to throw it out there right now because you don't go from oh it's going to be a couple of weeks later oh it's going to be six months late or five months late or whatever it is you don't, you don't, you, it doesn't happen. You, you know, you know when you're, when you're that far behind. So, a bit cheeky opening up the pre-orders, which I guess is given a little bit of a cash in there, chunk of people pre-ordering the game to keep the books looking nice into the Christmas period. I see what happened. Uh, it's dodgy, but I see what happened, I see why you'd do it. But, anyway, that's, uh, that's a, a conversation for the time. Uh, the ethics of video game development. But, when we did the last video, I talked about the plans for the channel with the game coming out at the end of November, you know, all that kind of stuff. And now we've been pushed back to March. I said that I was going to bring Welcome to Roxham to a close because, or for the season, I was going to bring it to a close because I wanted to be able to, I want to have a satisfying conclusion and be able to carry it over to the next game and maybe have a little bit of a break between the two. And I brought Welcome to Roxham to a satisfying close on Friday. Go check that out if you haven't already. And I say on Friday, I, it was released on Friday. I uploaded it not 10 minutes before they announced the game was going to be delayed again. Uh, so I wrapped up a series essentially a few months earlier than I needed to. And I've, I've got uh, a project. And I don't want to resolve, I don't want to sort of go back into Welcome to Roxham just yet because we're already. We've wrapped up the story in a really nice place where if we can't carry the series over to FM25, for someone who finds the playlist on YouTube, it will feel like a nice natural stopping point and a complete story. We're going to carry on the journey. We have been carrying on the journey and it's going very well. But now I've got content I don't have. But here's my problem. Uh, I'm going to dial it back a little bit anyway, um, purely because... I do this all year round, five days a week, more often than not, and I can get a little bit tired of it sometimes. Not tired of what I said, I don't enjoy it anymore, but just tired as in I'm constantly on the grind. You know, I go to a regular job and then I come back and I record and I edit and I upload and I do thumbnails and blah, 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 blah. And it's, it's nice to dial it back some, sometimes. But we are going to have a replacement series for Welcome to Roxham. It's probably not going to be five, like three days a week like the Welcome for Oxen was, purely because I have some other projects in mind I want to work on, some for this channel, some for other channels, and I want to sit down and develop them properly. And I want to have a little rest as well. Um, the, the projects I've got in mind are more documentary type format. They're, um, they're not football manager, but they're, you know, they're, they're, they're storytelling, which is my natural kind of. My natural home, I don't need to do it enough. So that's sort of what I'm looking to do. But for the new series, I want to pop a little thing uh, up there. Uh, I literally just bought you through a mind myself to put the picture that you guarantee I do. 
we're going to do a new series. We're going to call it Red versus Blue, a Manchester underdog story, because we're going to take FCI to Manchester, the red, and Main Road, the blue, the two kind of, they're almost the fan clubs of United L City. Are they not really? Like they're not I mean, United. FC United of Manchester, of course, were the protest slash Phoenix club of Manchester United. Main Road have been around since the 50s, but they have very much always had close ties to Manchester City. And, you know, they're probably the team City fans would go and watch if City are playing away or they can't get a ticket or they can't afford a ticket or whatever. So, we're going to take the two teams. I'm going to manage both teams and I try and guide them into the Premier League. And that's going to be the series, pretty much. Um, part of this series is a thing people have been asking for in comments as well. Is that people have asked how I build teams up from lower leagues, how I do the transfers and the training and blah, blah, blah. I'm going to try and get into that a little bit with the series. So, it's almost like the tutorial play through along kind of thing. I've got the, the, the idea in my head. We'll see how it goes. But that's going to be on the next week or so. I don't know exactly why, but I've literally made the picture. You can see uh, that's as far as I've got with it. I made the big try to the same. Uh, we'll see how it goes. But for now, that's going to be the plan between now and FM25. I don't know if it'll be something we carry over. It might be. If the, if it, if the numbers do well, if you guys are into it, yeah, obviously, if it's a popular series, we'll carry it over. We'll... we'll figure it out but you know we we can't really make make plans beyond march at this point so we'll see how that goes but i should tell you there will be more content coming i haven't forgotten you guys i haven't not reacted to the delay i haven't not noticed the delay i had on the ball i do know what's going on i've just been too busy to make this video essentially and i've been sort of waiting for the dust to sell a little bit so that's the bad bird in red versus blue uh, do check it out because I think it'd be really interesting. In that, uh, I've never managed two clubs at the same time. It's a it's really rare you see someone in your mind in two clubs at the same time, two rival clubs, and trying to kind of build them back up. I think it'd be really interesting. So do check that out and um, keep it on the channel. If you haven't already, like, subscribe, ring the bell, and select all. And then when those videos go out live, you'll get a notification the same the series has gone live. And you can tell me what you think. Uh, and also tell me in the box below what you, what you think of leaving Roxham for a little while just uh just to let it kind of have that actual stopping but while we wait and see and any other thoughts you've got what's going on uh but in the meantime guys thanks for watching i haven't always been chasing them you do as that like subscribe ring the bell yada 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 be a part of my little fun fact i learned the other day the longer the comment the better the algorithm likes it and more people see it crazy look post the script to b movie in the comments let's see if it works anyway Thanks for watching, guys. I shall see you all very soon. Until next time, stay safe and uh, have a good one.